there are a few interesting behaviors in the modern periodic table, like valency. The valency of an element is basically a measure of its combining power with other atoms to form chemical compounds or molecules. Now, this valency of an element is determined by the number of valence electrons in the outermost shell of the atom. Now, all the elements in a group show the same valency. Like for example, take a look at group 1. All the alkali metals in this group have the same valency which is 1 plus. Similarly, in group 2, all the alkaline earth metals show the same valency which is 2 plus. Now, in periods, the number of valence electrons keeps increasing when we move from left to right. So therefore, in periods, the valency of elements at first increases and then decreases. Another interesting behavior exists in the atomic size. The atomic size is basically the distance from the nucleus to the outermost shell. And that's why it's also called as the atomic radius. And this atomic radius or atomic size is measured in picometers. One picometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 12 meters. Now, let's understand the behavior of the atomic size in groups and periods. Here's all the elements in group 2 and underneath it are the sizes of each element. Now, if you arrange these atomic sizes in the decreasing order, you will realize that they are forming a period. Now, this tells us that the atomic size in a period decreases as we move from left to right. And do you know why the atomic size decreases as we move from left to right in a period? Because in a period, as we move from left to right, even the nuclear charge of every element is increasing. Now, this nuclear charge attracts the electrons towards the nucleus and thus decreases the size of the atom. But wait a minute. Even in a group, as we go down from top, the nuclear charge increases. But in a group, along with the nuclear charge, new shells are added as we go from top to bottom. Now, these new shells increase the distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell. And that's why the atomic size increases as we go down the group. So what have we learned in this video? We have seen a few interesting behaviors of atomic size and valency in the modern periodic table. So until next time, happy learning.